But first, I thought I'd just show you from CIA.gov and other websites where they admit they stage terror attacks because they think you're stupid. This is all hidden in plain view. So we're going to come back and give you examples just like the theater that our government carried out. If you want to know why every major government in modern history, the British were world famous for it, like to stage terror attacks to blame it on their enemies and to take liberties from their population while posing as, as saviors. It is just so effective. You basically just frame your enemies. And because the perpetrators control the media, and, will, and they will just repeat whatever they're told, and the feds control the local police, and they will do what they're told. It doesn't matter if 50 cops see the feds and the unexploded bombs and all of it. They just tell them, shut up or you're dead, like Oklahoma City. And I've interviewed the police. The FBI came into their offices and said, you and your wife are dead. It's all in the film, A Noble Lie. We have at Infowarshop.com with all the witnesses, the police, you name it the head of Air Force Weapons Development, you name it, all of it, how they blew that building up to try to pass anti-gun laws, to take liberties, to have warrantless spying, to set up this police state. And the very same crew that's in charge right now, I mean the very same people at the Justice Department, are the number one suspects in this event. The Patsy, who you notice you're not hearing anything about, and who the, the uh, folks at the jail say is flopping around and spitting at everyone, saying he's the Joker, completely blasted out of his brain. May have even been the shooter. And I'm going to go over all this, but probably not. Probably a decoy, because there are army manuals on how to do this. The Russians do it, the Israelis do it. Folks, Every major government does this, and it, it just shows how corrupt and dangerous this world is. And it's being used. It always happens right when they've got some treaty or some new war they want to launch. And in the next week to two weeks, they're saying the next two weeks, sometime in the next two weeks, Obama's set to sign the UN Small Arms Treaty, which says they can register our guns and put us under UN control and even ban them. That's not Alex Jones saying that, that's even Forbes. Though I did a whole hour Thursday on the eve of this event happening in Colorado with New American Researcher, magazine researcher Bob Dacey in studio going over the UN treaties and documents where they said that no individuals be able to own guns. Well, the Attorney General said that when he was Deputy Attorney General back in 95. <clears throat> and all of these guys, Obama as a state senator, Look at the cities they control, Chicago, New York, total gun ban. They want your guns. Now, that said, what is a false flag? What is a self-inflicted wound? What is an inside job? It doesn't mean the whole government is involved. It doesn't mean there aren't, quote, Muslim extremists or whatever. It means there are criminal elements that fund terrorists, allow terrorists to attack, or sometimes do it themselves. Now, here's CBS News. I thought I would just, I mean, we told you about this over a year before this broke in December of this year. Documents ATF use fast and furious to make the case for gun regulations. Charley Atticuson, and it goes on to say they carried it out so that they could argue for new rules on gun sales. There it is. The memos are public. They actually were giddy, is the quote in Congress about it. 20,000 guns. Hand grenades, rocket launchers. I mean, that's why ATF started telling on itself once this started coming out, because it wasn't just tracing some guns out of some gun shops. It was so they could then argue to restrict and ban semi autos, saying we were causing the violence in Mexico now that numbers over 60,000 in the last four years. And Fast and Furious is only part of it. And now Calderon's calling to ban our guns. There are no gun sales in Mexico to the general public. And it's a hellhole with the government and the thugs ruling over everyone and treating families and everybody like total trash and the, and the society's collapse. So we don't need North Korea or Mexico to, uh, I mean, here it is, Associated Press. Mexico urges U.S. to review gun laws after Colorado shooting. That's Reuters. There you go. In our country's politics telling us what to do.
Hey, why don't you talk about Fast and Furious? My point is, Fast and Furious is so special because it's not the first time a false flag or stage terror event has been, has been uh, discovered. It's one of the only times it ever finally got out in the news a little bit. Because I've got a giant stack here that I'm about to cover. That a lot of it's CIA.gov, you name it, admitting that our government stages terror attacks. So if they would do Fast and Furious, which is a staged terror attack, a slow burn attack, it's killed cops, border patrol, hundreds of U.S. citizens, thousands of Mexicans, Mexican government estimates 2,000 citizens killed by it, then they can get away with anything. Now, that said, listen, I wish that this was a real crazy. But, but once you've seen them do this, they follow a script. They've done it in Spain. They had mass shootings and bombings that even came out later, the government did. This was even in the Spanish news. 7-7 Seven. Seven was run by MI6. That even came out on Fox News. But guys, will you just pull it up so people can see it on screen if they're watching at prisonplanet.tv? Just type in 7-7 uh, Seven Seven was masterminded by MI6. And you'll see Fox News, AP, BBC, Sky Television, Justice Department official Loftus, who we interviewed last week, strangely enough, before this even happened about another issue. And there they are saying, yes, a SWAT, it was run by MI6 and that they're protecting a SWAT. Of course, it was run by MI6. At the end of one day in September, that's narrated by Michael Douglas. It's about the attack in 72 at the Munich Games. They go and admit the whole thing was staged and fake hijackings were staged. Some of the terrorists low down, low level thought they were fighting for Allah and for uh, uh you know, Palestine, but they were really working for NATO security services as a way to take liberties all over Europe. I mean, boy, they got this stuff. And they even put it in the movie. Yeah, there it is. Terror expert, 7-7 Mastermind was working for British intelligence. I'm just mentioning some of the stuff that's not even in my stack. What? Mr. Aswat. Harun Rashid Aswat, MI6 double agent. No, oh, it's always a double agent. When it, when it leaked that the bomb maker for Al-Qaeda was CIA, that had given the bomb to uh, the Christmas Day bomber who the U.S. government got on the plane, source on that congressional testimony, C-SPAN, Detroit Free Press. It's always the same. It's always, it's like, oh, yeah, CIA got him on the plane. No, never mind that. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we built the bomb for him, but that was our cunning skill. Yeah, yeah. And, and oh yeah, it, it was a CIA uh, commando who led the attacks in India, and they and it wasn't Muslims, but we wanted to get a war between India and Pakistan. Remember that a few years ago in Mumbai, and I, at the time, the head of Indian intelligence got killed that day. But before he did, he said, "This is Western back." By the way, he was a Hindu, big enemies with the Muslims. So why would he be defending the Muslims? He said, "Yeah, this is staged." Remember the shopping malls getting attacked? And I said, "It's staged." It was in the Indian papers, Times of India. Oh, Alex, not everything staged. It came out in the Chicago Tribune later, David Coleman Headley, the face of Mumbai Terror, CIA, commanding it. And what were the guys that weren't Muslims on? LSD, PCP, and drugs the Indians couldn't even figure out. No one could figure out what they are. They, they had literal mind control operatives. You ever seen the Final Born movie? That is so accurate. They get an army captain in there. Are you dedicated to this program? There were real programs like that. Declassified. And they would turn you into a whole new person who, who would be ready to feed their child into a blender. But wait, I haven't even gotten there yet. I'm going to go over declassified admissions when we get back. Stay with us. The ruling class of this country and every other major power block are unified in one thing. They see the general public as dumb animals who are there to be programmed and manipulated. Real wealth isn't even about generating new sciences or new inventions or art literature. It's about controlling populations. And one thing that governments have done going back more than 6,000 years in different uh, histories, one of the things they've done over and over again is stage events. Many historians at the time, and that's the agreed upon history by most, said that Nero burned down part of the city because the Christians had gotten too popular. He wanted to expand his palace areas and public works into that quarter. People lived in their own minority neighborhoods like they do today. And he burned it to blame it on them. 
Now, whether that's true or not, the point is the ancients understood this. We should understand it. Because so many adults look at me and say, why? Why would they want to? I don't know. Why would Hitler want to firebomb their Capitol building and grab a guy and drug him up, Baroness Manderlube, Baroness Manderlube, and then execute him? A mentally ill person drugged up. Same MO. I mean, ask Hitler that. Why would he want to seize power and arrest his enemies and say so they had to set up checkpoints on the highways and take the guns because terrorists had attacked? He set up Reich security. Reich means land. He set up fatherland security. Yes, you've heard of it before. We're in a lot of trouble, folks. They think you're so stupid they're following an exact blueprint. Black uniforms, whole nine yards. Okay, so I hope everyone enjoys it. They're keeping us safe from Al-Qaeda. <clears throat> yeah. Now, again, the ATF's on record in Congress doing Fast and Furious to blame the Second Amendment. That is a false flag. Just thought I'd mention that. Uh, Operation Glywitz. Hitler didn't just get, you know, get elected and then seize power and become a dictator February 27th, 1933 by firebombing the Reichstag. He did a bunch of other uh, incidents blaming on his enemies, and he had newsreel cameras set and radio reporters on the German-Polish border um, on the 31st of August, 1939. The Glywitz incident was a staged attack by Nazi forces posing as Poles on the 31st of August, 1939 against the German radio station Schinder Glywitz and Glywitz Upper Sessicia, uh, Germany. The provocation was best known on several actions in Operation Himmler, a series of unconventional operations undertaken by SS in order to serve specific propaganda goals, staging terror attacks against German targets to blame on their enemies. Now, what are the sources on this? Reuters, Adolf Hitler, the definitive biography, Nuremberg trial proceedings, documents presented, uh, Heads of the Reich testifying. It's a very long the, the, uh, breakdown there. Just look up the Glywitz incident because it's all part of Operation Himmler. A whole bunch of staged terror attacks. Yeah, people always say, the Germans just attacked Poland. No, Hitler blew up a bunch of stuff and said the Poles did it with their pre-World War I army with horses and swords. Yeah. Yeah. They're now saying Iran's going to attack the Olympics. So they get blown up. Oh, that's exactly what they're going to do. Okay, uh, let's continue here. Now, that's how they're going to launch a new war. Here's another one. All the Shah's men, an American coup in the roots of Middle East terror, Operation Ajax, CIA.gov forward slash library. Go look it up, the CIA. And they admit that uh, the uh, grandson of Teddy Roosevelt, Kermit Roosevelt, along with the CIA and MI6, what did they do? What did they do? They staged shootings with just a few dozen guys all over the country saying that Mohammed Mosaddegh, the president, was blowing up mosques and shooting crowds of people at prayers, going in basically movie theaters and shooting people. And then they, and then they blamed it on the government itself. So kind of a reverse false flag. It was a false flag, but usually it's the government doing it, blaming it on somebody. And the Muslims uh, rose up, overthrew the government. They double-crossed them, threw them out, brought the Shah in. And the CIA just is very proud of it. Herman Roosevelt, before he died, did TV interviews, how they staged the terror attacks. That's Operation Ajax, the 1953 Iranian coup. Again, I'm just covering a few of these, okay? Oh, the Levon affair. Uh, what's this from? Let me give you the sources of this here. AP, Reuters, University Press, Columbia University. Oh, this didn't print pages five and six uh, like it did at home when I was reading it. Reuters, AP, all.